Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated his advisor, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of President of the Bahrain Basketball Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, to attend the ceremony held by the Chinese Ambassador Anwar Habiballah yesterday on the occasion of the 70th anniversary of founding the People's Republic of China. His Highness Sheikh Salman conveyed the greetings of His, ha His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the leadership and people of China and wished the friendly country continued progress and prosperity. He praised the progress of the Bahraini-Chinese relations in various fields, reflecting the understanding and coordination between the two countries on many regional and international issues. He stressed the Kingdom's interest in expanding cooperation with China in various fields that serve the common interest. The Chinese ambassador expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support and patronage and for enhancing the cooperation between the two countries, stressing his country's endeavor to strengthen the bilateral cooperation in a manner that meets the aspirations of the two countries and people, wishing Bahrain continued progress. Chinese China is a one of the second biggest commercials of the world. Uh, I see here now today one of the best receptions on the all uh, you know ambassador embassies. I am Pakistani living in Bahrain for the seven years for last seven years and I started learning Chinese since last year and this year I was the Chinese bridge contestant from Bahrain to China. And I would say this was a very good experience for me and I love it. And I hope that China and Bahrain's friendship grows better and I hope that China keeps prospering. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa believes in the importance of international cooperation as one of the main pillars of global stability and that it supports all international efforts that aim to achieve peace and harmony. During a meeting attended by speakers of Eurasian countries' parliaments, Zainal noted that Bahrain works hard at all regional and international forums to spread awareness on the importance of unifying international communities efforts to establish a lasting and stable peace that achieves the aspirations of countries and people. She added that His Majesty the King has many leading initiatives in the fields, most notably the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. She also stressed that tourism is one of the most 
Terrorism is one of the most serious and deadly challenges facing the world that threaten international security and disturb justice and peace. She pointed out that the targeting of oil facilities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia poses a serious threat and direct threat to international security and peace and harms the economic interests in the region and the world. She affirmed Bahrain's firm stance in Saudi Arabia and all measures taken in the face of these attacks. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in a high level event entitled Global Call to Protest Religious Freedom, hosted by the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The minister expressed appreciation for the president for hosting the event, which reflects his keenness to reinforce international cooperation in order to guarantee religious freedom in all parts of the world. The event aims to support religious freedom, combat various forms of persecution, address attacks on places of worship, and ensure respect for the cultural and religious heritage of states. Meanwhile, the Foreign Affairs Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to Palestine's President Mahmoud Abbas on the sidelines of the event held in New York. The Minister also conveyed the leadership's wise for the good health to the President and success in his efforts to achieve the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. President Abbas entrusted the minister with conveying his sincere greetings to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his deep appreciation of the brotherly positions of Bahrain and its unwavering support for the Palestinian cause and the rights of the Palestinian people. Sheikh Khalid affirmed the need to concerted regional and international efforts to help the Palestinian people regain their legitimate rights and live in a stable, prosperous region where security and prosperity prevails for all. He stressed that the Palestinian people have the right to have their own independent state on the borders of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital, based on the two-state solution, Arab Peace Initiative, and relevant international resolutions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Maldives, Abdullah Shahid, on the sidelines of the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. The Minister hailed the progress of the friendly relations between the two countries, stressing the keenness of the Kingdom to develop joint cooperation in all fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Maldives noted the distinguished ties between Bahrain with Bahrain, stressing keenness to enhance mutual coordination on various issues of common co interest. The Minister also met with the Deputy Prime Minister for Judicial Reform to the Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister of Bulgaria, Ekaterina Zahriva. He expressed the aspiration of Bahrain to develop friendly relations with Bulgaria in all fields and to reinforce cooperation and coordination to benefit the two countries and people. The Deputy Prime Minister praised the development of Bahrain in various fields, wishing it further progress and prosperity. The Foreign Affairs Minister also met members of the American Jewish Committee on the sidelines of the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The Minister gave a lecture on the historical and strategic relations between Bahrain and the United States and their progress in various fields and he noted in this regard the efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Bahrain in promoting security, peace and stability in the region and the world. The Minister affirmed that the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has made Bahrain a leading example of openness, peaceful coexistence and cooperation with all. The lecture was attended by the U.S. Special Representative for Iran and Senior Policy Advisor to the Secretary of State, Brian Hook, and a number of U.S. officials, as well as the Ambassador of Bahrain to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Permanent Representative of Bahrain to the U.N., Ambassador Jamal Faris Al Rawai. The members of the committee honored the Minister of Foreign Affairs for his pivotal role in highlighting the Kingdom's foreign policy, which is based on interaction and communication with the countries of the world in order to consolidate peace and stability and promote development and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs participated in the high-level meeting on universal health coverage and the United Nations Climate Action Summit at the United Nations headquarters in New York and the Minister expressed sincere appreciation to the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, for his role and efforts in holding such high-level meetings that discuss important issues to the international community. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Bahrain attaches great importance to universal health coverage, which comes at the forefront of its strategic priorities to achieve health sustainable development goals. He added that the Kingdom has a distinct experience in providing primary health care services and is keen on providing therapeutic and preventive health services in accordance with the best international standards and practices. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs also pointed out that Bahrain has launched many initiatives to protect the environment and preserve its natural resources, as it also strives to enhance cooperation with the countries of the world to achieve these goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met the President of the 74th Session of the United Nations General Assembly, Tijani Mohammed Bandi, in the presence of the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiqu Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The Minister congratulated the President on his election, wishing him success in fulfilling his tasks and enhancing the role of the UNGA for the benefit of all countries. Sheikh Khalid stressed Bahrain's keenness to further develop cooperation with the United Nations due to its vital a role in establishing international peace and security and enhancing sustainable development. The UNGA president hailed the development of Bahrain in various fields, commending its efforts in achieving the sustainable development goals. The meeting also discussed the main issues and topics enlisted in the current UNGA agenda. King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain launched an exhibition for Bahrain's achievements in the field of enhancing the values of peaceful coexistence and religious freedom at the UN headquarters in New York. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that the exhibition highlights the model of coexistence and tolerance in Bahrain. The chairman of the center, Sheikh Dr. Khaled bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, stated that the center's keenness on being present once more at the most prominent international organization stems from its commitment to enhance communication between people and to support the efforts of the international community to maintain security and peace. He added that His Majesty's appreciation for cultural diversity and religious tolerance in the kingdom has turned it into an established policy that is reflected in the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration. In the 90s, I was doing my master's in development studies at the School of Oriental and African Studies, which is part of the University of London. And by that time, the King of Bahrain, he offered a building to, the, to SOAS, which is the School of Oriental and African Studies. I mean, I was, at the time I was intrigued, why would a king offer a building to a university? But now, over the years, I understood because knowledge uh, or lack of knowledge is the main danger to peace and to development. So by investing into a university, actually he was contributing to peace and so on. So since then, I kept the, this name Bahrain as something associated with knowledge, with peace, with reconciliation. So like peace and uh, the challenges for, for, for peace is something that really inspires and guides us. So by learning from the Bahrain the Declaration and other commitments from the Kingdom of Bahrain really inspires. Ashura Council delegation participated in the 74th session of the UN General Assembly. For more on this, we are joined from New York by the Shura Council member, Dr. Muhammad Ali Hassan. Hello, Dr. Muhammad. Can you tell us about your participation in the event as a member of the Shura Council? Hello, good evening. Uh, let me begin by thanking you and the Bahrain TV for shedding light on the activities of the Shura Council. And I would like to tell you that I'm proud and it's my great pleasure and honor to participate and as a Shura Council member in this very important activities and events that have been organized here by the King Hamad uh, Center for Coexistence. Uh, and indeed, uh, the, 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 uh, as you know, that the respected, uh, you and yourself and the respected viewer know that the King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence is, is organizing a number of consecutive events here in New York and meeting uh, very important bodies and uh, personnel here in the field of uh, peaceful coexistence. And as you know, the, the, the center is uh, very, um, very active in this field and to shedding the light on the Bahraini experience, very dis the distinctive Bahraini experience in this arena. And the, the center itself is playing a very significant role uh, to reflect uh, the Bahrain long history as a place for welcoming and embracing, of course, all kinds of faith. That are, these kinds of faiths are living, they were living in Bahrain and continue living in peace and harmony in this very peaceful country. Shura Council Member Dr. Muhammad Ali Hassan, thank you so much for joining us. 
Under the chairmanship of the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees at the University of Bahrain, Dr. Majid Al Naimi, the University Board of Trustees held its 14th regular session in the presence of the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, the Minister of Health, Faiq Al Saleh, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Mayyad, President of the Civil Service Bureau, Ahmed Al Zayed, and the President of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Riyad Hamza, as well as other officials. The Minister of Education extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of the Kingdom's celebrations of the centenary of formal education as well as the beginning of the academic year 2019 and 2020, praising the support of the university, the university receives from the leadership. The Board of Trustees reviewed the annual, the annual report of the University of Bahrain, which monitored the university's achievements and the most prominent opportunities and challenges it is facing during the previous academic year. The Board also listened to a briefing by the President of the University, which outlined the academic, administrative and financial situation of the university. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to offer suitable job opportunities in the private sector for citizens, the Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil Ahmedan inaugurated the job fair. Sixty private sector companies participated in the exhibition offering 1,300 job opportunities in various domains. Hamedan stressed that the fair was part of the ministry's continuous launch to several initiatives to promote the availability of suitable job opportunities for citizens. Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, chaired the first meeting of the committee in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Lim Ayyad, the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Dr. Abdul Rahman Askar. Sheikh Faisal stressed the importance of serious and sincere work to implement the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop youth and sports sector. He said that the strategy laid down by His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the Bahraini sports movement will form a roadmap for the Bahraini youth in order to achieve unique achievements in various fields. He was briefed on the progress on the initiatives of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to hand over the dues of players the initiative of 100 playgrounds in villages and cities of Bahrain, in addition to programs and projects for training young people. His Highness directed the Ministry to work on the adoption of plans and programs that lead to further achievements and achieve gold in the Golden Age. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs stressed his keenness to follow up on the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. Under the patronage of the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Community Partnership in Fighting Narcotics Conference was inaugurated yesterday by the Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan, with participants from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the UAE, and Oman, in addition to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, as well as professors and media experts. The Chief of Public Security explained that combating narcotics is one of the priorities of security and community work which comes within a comprehensive strategic framework that combines all efforts of government and non-government institutions to face the growing risks and damages of narcotics and psychotropic substances and their misuse. Al Hassan added that this misuse of narcotics and psychotropic substances requires activating the role of the community and family in order to combat the issues. He added that this conference is a result of the recommendations of the first conference held in Bahrain last year on the International Day Against Drug Abuse. He referred to Bahrain's pioneering experience in this field, which was reflected in the Minister of Interior's launch of the National Strategy to Combat Drugs and Psychotropic Substances in June 2015. He then touched on the program MAN, which was launched in Bahrain in 2011 to strengthen the capacity of the youth to avoid violence and addiction in schools. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to celebrate the 89th Saudi National Day where the Bahrain Parents Care Society hosted a fun-filled lineup of activities on the occasion. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. On the occasion of the 89th Saudi National Day and in consideration of the strong and historical Bahraini-Saudi ties, the Bahrain Parents Care Society hosted a series of fun-filled activities in celebration of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's 89th National Day. 
Today we celebrate the National Day of the, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which is really for us as a Bahrainis, it is a celebration for us as much as it is a celebration for all Saudis. Bahrain and Saudi are all has always been one country, and they will always be one country. This occasion which happens today, uh, what's interesting about it is that most of the Saudis, they come to Bahrain and they spend their National Day holidays in Bahrain. They've been here since, uh, since uh, Thursday evening, so four days, all our hotels, it's interesting to see that all our hotels are being fully occupied. We have 100% occupancy, and this is good for us. We, as, a, as, a, as we call ourselves, the, the small, the sister of, the, the, oh, the, the, of Saudi Arabia, we are the small sister of Saudi Arabia. We're happy to have them here celebrating in Bahrain, and we are with them to celebrate. The event comes as part of the shared celebration of Saudi Arabia's National Day and serves in promoting the unity between the two brotherly countries. The lineup of activities marking the proud occasion for the kingdom and the entire Arab world included a number of events such as traditional music performances as well as an exhibition on the sidelines offering local food embracing the Saudi culture. Actually, today we are celebrating the 89th uh, National Day of Saudi. And as you know, GCC is all one, and uh, we don't consider us, uh, ourselves as parts. So we just wanted to share this um, uh, big, 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 great okay, occasion with our brothers and sisters in the uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, today we started early a bit, since uh, you know um, it's, it's a hot day. So we wanted just to start and finish where everyone uh, would have just uh, a nice and a good time with us. And I hope everyone would. The celebration reflects the distinguished position enjoyed by Saudi Arabia in the hearts of Bahrainis, given the shared love, cooperation and loyalty between both countries. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.